This is Newsline America for Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. News from around the nation, the world, and right here at home in Las Vegas. I'm Ricky Cheese. Thanks for joining us. Here's what's happening. Some serious questions on Capitol Hill as to whether or not the confirmation vote is going to take place this Thursday for President Trump's Supreme Court nominee. Now, it appears that a split is developing now in the Senate that could delay the vote. As Emily Schmidt reports, there are questions surrounding nominee Brett Kavanaugh, and they continue. The road from Judge Brett Kavanaugh's Maryland home to his Monday White House meetings may be easier than the road his nomination has suddenly taken. If it takes a little delay, it'll take a little delay. California professor Christine Blasey Ford accused Kavanaugh of physically and sexually assaulting her at a party more than three decades ago when both were teenagers. Will your client, Christine Ford, be willing to testify in public to the Judiciary Committee? The answer is yes. She is willing to do it. Has she been asked by any of the lawmakers to do that? That's interesting. The answer is no. Kavanaugh says in a statement the allegation is completely false and that he's willing to say so to the Senate Judiciary Committee. So I have great confidence in uh, the U.S. Senate and in their procedures and what they're doing. The committee plans to vote on Kavanaugh's nomination Thursday. Democrats on the committee are asking for a delay, as is Senator Chuck Schumer. Trying to rush this through on Thursday mm -hmm. is an insult to the women of America and an insult to the majesty of the Supreme Court of the Thank United you. States. It's Republicans who could sway proceedings, especially potential swing votes from Senator Lisa Murkowski. I don't know whether there is any there there, but it's my job, along with 99 other members of the Senate, to determine if there is. And from Senator Susan Collins, who tweeted, Professor Ford and Judge Kavanaugh should both testify under oath. Professor Ford's well, words getting attention and action with still unknown results. In Washington, I'm Emily Schmidt. Well, there is new hope for calm in Syria. In a major announcement, Russia and Turkey have now agreed to create a demilitarized zone in Syria, hoping to stop the battles that have claimed thousands of innocent lives. The agreement is hoped to end the continued assault on areas held by Syrian rebels. Now, this new buffer zone is going to create what's thought to be a separation between Assad's government forces and the rebels. The deal would also involve the removal of heavy Russian weaponry from that area by October 15th. Now, in the Mexican state of Jalisco in western Mexico, horror over the discovery of a trailer containing bodies. According to law enforcement, the trailer found near a loading dock contained more than 100 bodies. Authorities there say those bodies were in the trailer because local morgues were overcrowded and they didn't have any more room. Many of the bodies were individuals killed in drug wars, while others were said to be just local citizens who died. Federal authorities in Mexico are looking into this situation. The death toll continues to rise in the Carolinas as flooding continues in the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. As of today, 25 people have been known to be killed because of that, of that storm. As Natasha Chen reports, still no relief in sight. I think we are the only dry sidewalk in this entire complex for now. What's left of Florence is still wreaking havoc and flooding parts of the Carolinas days after making landfall. The system is slowly moving out of the region, but remnants are now targeting the northeast. Safe. If there's a tornado warning, uh, take it seriously. Uh, you know, get to, to your basement, interior uh, room without windows. Millions of people are under flash flood watches and warnings. Some areas have not seen the worst flooding yet. A statement the Secretary of Homeland Security supported while visiting North Carolina, telling those who evacuated to stay put and not to return home until told to do so. It was a bad storm when it hit. It will continue to be a very dangerous storm. Uh, we'll have lots of rain. Please, everyone, this continues to be very dangerous. So please listen to your local officials. In the Carolinas, the biggest concern is the unprecedented flooding. River levels are still an issue. And we came up awful fast and I would put a marker down and within five minutes it had gone up another, uh, it would cover the marker and was up to the next one and went all the way up to the top of the driveway. In Chapel Hill, North Carolina, I'm Natasha Chen. Mm. Well, here's some amazing news on a good side. NASA making history. For the first time ever, the space agency has named a woman to serve as its chief 
Flight Director. According to NASA, Holly Ridings is going to lead the group that directs human spaceflight flights from Mission Control in Houston's Johnson Space Center. Now, she is going to manage a group of 32 flight directors and oversee missions involving the International Space Station. Now, she's going to replace Norm Knight, who is now the Deputy Director of Flight Operations. Ridings first joined to NASA back in 1998. Well, first, it was the Oakland Raiders coming to Las Vegas as the Raiders are going to open by 2020. Well, now it looks as if we're going to have yet another connection to Oakland, California. The Las Vegas 51's AAA baseball team has announced a deal has been worked out to become the main farm team, yes, of the Oakland Athletics. Now, the 51's just completed their 36th session, that season rather, ending their relationship with the New York Mets, now related to Oakland. This new affiliation is going to begin just as the team opens their next season in their brand new stadium in downtown Summerlin, right next door to the Vegas Golden Knights facility. Woo! It looks like a great week ahead for our weather. Our AccuWeather five-day forecast is calling for sunny skies all week long with cooler nights. Highs today around 100, tomorrow 97, Thursday through Saturday, staying right between about 96 and 97. And during that period in the night, oh, look at those lows in the 60s to the upper 70s. All downhill from here, folks. This has been Newsline America for Tuesday, the 18th of September. Visit us on our website at NewslineAmerica.com. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Ricky Cheese. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.